extra time. Well, I'd first like to thank uh, the CAC, Shanta, Kapil and uh, Anshu for you know, having the faith in me to continue for uh, another 26 months. You know, it's a, it's a privilege and honor you know, to be part of an Indian uh, team setup. Because uh, you know, the reason why I came in here, because I had this belief in this team. You know, I had the belief that they could leave a legacy that very few teams have left behind you know, in years to come. Not just uh, for the moment they're playing, but uh, at the end of it all, you know, a kind of legacy which uh, you know, other teams going down decades will want to try and emulate. So, you know, that is the desire. I mean, uh, we, we are on track. There's always room for improvement. And, uh, you know, with youth coming in through the ranks, uh, you know, I think it's a very exciting time. So you've got to learn from your mistakes. You know, you're, nobody is perfect. You know, you, when you strive for excellence and you strive to raise the bar, you know, day in, day out, then you've got to pay attention to that detail. You know, when uh, you do mess up or you have an off day, you know, don't let that day go by. In fact, uh, make sure that you're focusing and concentrating, you know, on how you can get over that barrier. So that will be the endeavor, you know, of, of this team. It's been uh, superbly consistent. You know, when you look at their performances over the last two, three years, it's been uh, simply outstanding. But like I said, you know, that's the bar they've set. Now it's up to them to raise the bar. No other way, you have to, you know, unless you make those uh, efforts, even if, even at the cost of certain results, you know, at the end of it, you will not know what your best setup is. You know, so there is a time where you've got to invest in getting uh, youth into the side, in ensuring that you have better combinations, you have better depth all round. And, uh, you know, one thing is uh, most important is that over the last four, five, four, five years, the biggest improvement has been in fielding. And the endeavor is to make this the best fielding side in the world. So it is a clear diktat to whoever wants to play for this team. The standards of that particular player's fielding will have to be of the highest level, especially in white ball fielding. I think uh, achievements are so many. You know, if you look at it, if you look at white ball cricket, you know, they, they've had the belief now to travel and uh, beat sides. You know, they've beaten every side in their own country, you know, in their backyard. When you, when you look back at, uh, you know, white ball cricket. Uh, they've had some great moments in test match cricket as well, you know, like winning the series in Australia, you know, losing a close one in South Africa, but that was the learning curve, you know, you improve. I know we lost, uh, the results will show we lost badly in uh, England, but we've got to learn from that. You know, that also strengthened us. I've kept saying the scoreline really doesn't tell the true story, but it is a scoreline. So I will have to go by that. I have to believe on how I can improve on that, you know. As, as, a, as a team, as a coach. And I'm sure the players are thinking in the same, same fashion. So, you know, collectively, you know, looking at the, the coaches, the, the players, the, the, you know, the team management, you know, the endeavor is to keep this consistency going and try and take it to another level altogether. Next two years is to see a smooth transition happening. You know, because you will get a lot of youngsters coming in, especially into the white ball setup. You know, there'll be youngsters coming into the test match setup as well. You'll need to identify, you know, another three, four uh, bowlers to add to the pool. You know, those are the challenges. So that the team, say, in at the end of our tenure, in 26 months, you know, my endeavor would be to leave the team in a happier place. You know, so that they can set a legacy for time to come. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not going to be here if I didn't think this was a challenge. I relish a challenge. You know, the game has taught you never to back away from a challenge. You know, you're, you're not, your mental framework is such that uh, you want to embrace a challenge, you know, and look it straight in the eye and uh, go out there and compete. And uh, we'll be looking to do exactly that wherever we play because we believe wherever we go, it's home. So just go and think in that fashion. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.